Hi there, Peter with you again and this week we're going to have a little chat about karma. And people have different models of karma and some people find this whole idea of uh, taking karma from one life to the next as fairly difficult to contend with. Other people believe, yeah, there's such a thing as karma but it only exists in this life. So I've decided to give you the way I perceive karma and it might be right or it might be wrong but um, if it's useful to you then I hope you enjoy it. That's all I ask is if something's useful to you then use it otherwise let it go. So the way I see karma is possibly a little different to what other people see it and that is it's more about a pattern in the mind. You see traditionally if you do something bad then, theory, then according to karma in a few years time some the universe will do something bad to you in sort of retaliation and likewise if you do something good you'll get it back uh, further down the line as, as good fortune. Well the way I see it more is that if you practice uh, morality and ethics and generosity and things like that what happens is you set up various patterns of those habits in your mind and so you become uh, habitually kind, uh, you know, gracious um, and that sort of thing. And then what happens is a few things. First of all, like attracts like. So you naturally get attracted to uh, locations and particularly to people and situations where there is a greater level of kindness there. And likewise, um, other people also that are kind themselves see you and get that uh, vibe and actually they're really picking up signals at an unconscious level but they get that connection and want to be more friends with you. So you naturally move into a more uh, peaceful position. Now what about people who are really really nice people and or whatever have done lots of good karma and then they get stricken with a terminal disease. This is one of the really tough arguments for karma. But again, the way I perceive it is that whatever happens to you in life is not as important as the way you react to it and the way you perceive it. So if some tragic news happens and you have a mind of gratefulness and a mind of uh, tranquility then you will accept that new news with far less sufferings, far less internal conflict than someone who has already got a predisposition of you know the world is against me and oh, I hate the world that sort of thing. So again it's not so much what happens to you out there because suffering and conflict and jealousy and all the pain we occur inside our own minds and so that's where karma can help develop the qualities of mind that allow us to enjoy life better and to see the world as a better place and a more fortunate place and to literally pull us or magnetize us into the company and into the situations of uh, people that are wanting to help us if we're developing good karma. So that's just another way of looking at karma and again if it helps you then please go ahead and use it uh, otherwise of course uh, you're free to find other models of the universe that help you uh, in its place. Thank you.